So these are Samsung's Galaxy Buds 2 Pro and I've been using them for like the past two, three weeks now and I absolutely love them. So I was a huge fan of the original Galaxy Buds and since then, the Galaxy Buds Pro and the Galaxy Buds 2, I wasn't a huge fan of them. The fit was weird on the Galaxy Buds Pro but they sounded really good on the Galaxy Buds 2. Those fit okay but they didn't sound as good as the Galaxy Buds Pro. And then the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro here, it's literally a combination of both, which literally fits the name for me. So it's a combination of the Galaxy Buds 2 and the Pro. So you get the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. So let me tell you why I love these so much. So first off, the design. I absolutely love the design of not only the case, but of the buds themselves. So the case, it's a matte. I love it, matte black. I think it's a very nice finish to it. It can be a little bit annoying because it can pick up some fingerprints and can probably end up scratching up pretty easily. But if you use a case, it shouldn't be a big deal. Personally, I'm not gonna use a case. I just love the look of the matte black, so I'm gonna stick with that. And the hinge is very nice. It's very easy to open it up with one hand. Just keep in mind that the magnets aren't super strong, so you might actually knock them out when you're trying to open it up, or just be careful with trying to shake them or anything like that because, again, they could pop out. There are two LED indicators on the case, one on the inside that tells you the battery levels of the buds, and one on the outside that tells you battery levels of the case. At least I'm pretty sure that's what they do. Now, as far as the actual buds, these are also matte black, which I love as well. I think the design is very sleek, but they're also very light. So when you put them in your ear, they feel very light. It's like they're not even there. And the wingtip that they have kind of built into the bud itself helps with the fit as well. So it makes sure that it stays pretty snug in your ear. There is like a little tutorial on the app that tells you how to properly, actually it gives you a link to a YouTube video, I'm pretty sure. But it tells you how to you know, properly put them into your ear. And, and you just by doing that, or even if you don't really necessarily do that way, they fit really nicely in my ear, in my opinion. I had an issue, like I said, with the Galaxy Buds Pro. Galaxy Buds 2 was a little bit better, but nothing was as good as the original Galaxy Buds because they had that wingtip. And now that this has somewhat like a wingtip like the original Buds, it definitely helps with that fit. So I absolutely love how they feel in my ear. They feel super comfortable. Honestly, there's times where I start to sweat and sweat starts to get through into the Buds, you know, because I'm a heavy sweater. And it feels, it sometimes feels like they're about to fall out. But even if I shake my head, they're not falling out. Like even with sweat in there, it doesn't fall out. So overall the fit, I personally really like the fit on the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. The Buds themselves also have touch controls, which personally I've never been a fan of just because I've always had small issues with them, especially when I'm sweating or working out and stuff like that. So if my hand is sweaty or if sweat actually hits the Buds themselves, It'll accidentally call the trigger, which can be annoying. You can turn them off if you want to, but personally, I have to keep them on because they can be pretty convenient and I'll forget that I have them off and then I'll get annoyed as to why they're not actually working. So I always keep them on and just deal with the issue. Now, as far as the sound, I'm no audiophile, but these sound amazing. These sound as good, if not a lot better than the original Buds Pro. I stopped using them a long time ago, so I honestly forget what they sound like, but I remember them sounding pretty good. But these sound really good, much better than the Buds 2 and definitely better than the original Buds. So these are probably one of my favorite ones as far as sound, right beneath, if not very similarly close to the WF-1000 XM4s. Those I like too for sound and A and C, oh my God, A and C is so much better on there. But those are pretty heavy in my ears. Like after a while, I definitely feel a little bit of fatigue because they're pretty big in my ears. So I personally have been liking the Buds 2 Pro a lot better because of the fit. And because the sound is, I wouldn't say as top tier as WF, the 1000 XM4s, but they definitely are trying you know, to get in there. They're putting up a good fight and they sound good. I'm not gonna bore you or you know, try to pretend that I know what highs and mids are and bases and stuff like that is. They just sound good. And I use the dynamic preset, so I set that up on the app itself and it sounds so good. I'm, I'm hearing instruments and sounds and noises from songs that I've never heard before. I don't know if it's just like a placebo effect because they're new and stuff like that, but I swear, I'm hearing new sound effects or sounds and instruments, like I said, on songs that I've you know listened to for a long time. And I'm like, where are these sounds coming from? I don't know if it's the buds or, or if it's the app I'm using. Like it just, there's new stuff I'm listening to and it just sounds good. I just think music sounds really good on here. Voices sound good as well. And these also get very loud, as loud as the WF-1000 XM4s, which is also great, which helps with ANC as well. So ANC, I think it's pretty decent. It's definitely nowhere as close as the WF-1000 XM4s, as I mentioned already. That's definitely also because they, these use silicone tips, so they also you know don't do as good of a job concealing that ANC. 
but it's still pretty good. So I can definitely still hear loud noise like when it, if I'm running on the treadmill, I'll definitely hear that treadmill pretty easily. And that's also if like someone's mowing the lawn or something like that, you can definitely still hear that loud noises. It's not gonna cancel stuff like that, but it definitely does help a little bit if you're in a somewhat loud environment, you can definitely help that out with the ANC. The ambient sound mode I barely use, but I think it sounds just as good as pretty much like the other versions that the Buds 2 and Buds Pro use. Honestly, I don't really use it that much, but if you absolutely need to, it's got that mode, but I can't really speak 100% as to how good that is. As far as other features the Buds have, they have voice attack, which basically turns your earbuds into ambient sound mode whenever it hears that you're talking. It can be pretty useful if you're in an environment where you're constantly going around and need to make sure that you're able to hear yourself and talk to other people and communicate. But if you're just by yourself and you start to sing, it's gonna be very annoying because it'll go off and annoy you that the music is turned down and you're also in ambient sound mode. So I always turn it off just because I'm never in those kind of environments so I don't have to worry about that. They also have 360 audio, which is pretty neat. I think it's kind of gimmicky in my opinion because I feel like it would throw me off if I'm listening to something and I leave my phone somewhere and I move around. It might throw me off. It might be a cool experience, but not something that I would keep on all the time. If you have a Samsung device or a Samsung watch, then you can easily toggle on and off ambient sound mode and ANC without having to use the touch controls. You can also turn off the touch control straight from the widget, which is pretty convenient. You also have Samsung's multi-point connection, which basically allows you to connect to two different Samsung devices, or I think a couple. So basically, if you have a phone and a tablet, you can easily switch between them depending on which device is providing the audio source. So if you're watching a video on one on a phone and then you decide to watch or listen to music on a different device, it'll just switch between them seamlessly. As far as battery life, I do use ANC pretty much 99% of the time. There's rare occasions where I'll switch to ambient sound mode or just turn both of them off. But for the most part, I am also a pretty light user when it comes to the buds. So I would say maybe I spend an hour to two hours using the buds in a whole day. So I don't use them all the time for a straight period. I also don't charge them as soon as I'm done using them. So I actually use them and I just leave them in the, in the case and, and just charge them once they're actually dead. So I usually end up having to charge maybe once a week, which again, maybe not be that great compared to other buds, but for me, that's more than fine. And as far as the charging speeds, whether it be wireless charging or cable charging, I found that it takes roughly about two hours to fully charge the case and the buds went from fully dead to fully charged. And after about charging with 20 minutes with a cable, I was able to get about like 63% battery life on the buds themselves and then about 13% battery life on the case, which should equate to about two to three hours of actual listening time. So if you have completely dead buds and you forget to charge them, plug them in for 20 minutes and you should have a good solid hour or two to use them for a while. So at the end of the day, do I recommend the Buds 2 Pro? Absolutely. I think these are great sounding earbuds. They fit very well. If you tried issues with the Buds Pro or if the Buds 2 weren't enough for you, these are a good combination of both. They fit well and they sound amazing. But 230, in my opinion, is a very big asking price. So I would definitely see if you can get like some kind of sale or trade in or something to reduce that price because 230, it's a lot of money. Personally, I got these free from pre-order for the Z Fold 4. So, you know, I'm pretty happy with that. But if I had to pay the full 30, I'd be you know, a little hesitant just because it's a decent chunk of change. But otherwise, that's been it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.